Hi guys, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. My Vanner haul is finally back, just in time for Father's Day. I'm about to take it out for a spin, um, but I wanted to give you guys a quick little update out there as to what happened to the Vanner haul, why it's been down for a little over two and a half months, which has been crazy. And if you're thinking about getting a Vanner haul just for either yourself personally or to list on the platform, here's a few things that you should know. So I've now officially have had this Vanner haul for a year and a half. Luckily, at the time of purchase, I had purchased the extended warranty. So it comes with a one-year warranty. I don't know if that's still the case, but I can at least speak to the time that I purchased it. And they had an option to add on an additional year. And thank goodness that I did because I have had so many problems with this car in the short amount of time that I've had it and for the amount of miles that are on the car. So it roughly has about 10,000 miles on it. Um, I bought it brand new and it's been down for, I wanna say like maybe in total six months out of the time that I've had it, which is really a long time for a car to be in the shop because of issues that came with the vehicle, you know, and that weren't really caused by anything else. So now my most recent visit to the shop was uh, because it was kind of making this loud sort of knocking noise, but not really coming from the engine. My suspicion is that it was due to loose engine mount bolts because this has happened before. Last time they retorqued the bolts and then the sound kind of went away, um, but then it came back just shortly after. Then again, I had a leaky CV boot. Um, I believe it was actually on the right hand side wheel and that happened before too which they repaired they replaced the whole part it was all covered under warranty and it came back again and then finally in the mail i received a recall notice and just so i don't butcher this um let me tell you guys exactly what it's for it says some vehicles in extreme cases experience a rough ride quality in the event of a fractured suspension component. I took my car in, it did qualify for that recall. Um, I think they replaced a part on it. So, you know, it's been sort of just a combination of issues. And then on top of that, one of the problems that I faced in getting this car repaired now several times is that it seems like it takes forever for Vanderhall to get the parts out, the replacement parts out and for them to confirm that you know warranty is gonna cover it. So it really delays the process. And then on top of that, because these are newer cars, um, I think it seems like from my perspective that the techs are still kind of getting familiar with how to exactly work on these cars. Luckily, it has a lot of GM sister parts, so you know they kind of relate to the uh, GM parts that coincide with the Vanderhall parts, so I think that helps them out. But given everything that I've experienced in this year and a half, I only have six months left of war warranty. And that's a lot of reoccurring issues that I've had in the short amount of time of ownership. So now I'm really considering possibly pursuing a lemon buyback. I'm starting to think that this Vanner haul that I absolutely love so much, this car is amazing. It is so much fun to drive. Everything's great about it except these sort of reoccurring issues that continue to happen and it just seems like whenever they repair it that it's not really a permanent fix and that the problem's going to come back. That so far I've experienced that with the leaky CV boot. I've experienced that with the loose engine mount bolts. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm really thinking about pursuing a lemon buyback and seeing what can be done about this because what I'm trying to avoid and why you should always kind of anticipate for the future is, you know, for six months to go by and then I start having problems again. Next thing I know, car's in the shop for two to three months and on top of that, I'm paying for it and I'm not able to rent it out. I'm not able to enjoy it for myself. So I don't know, I'm in a little bit of a predicament. Um, and then on the flip side of it, I love this car so much. Everyone who drives this car has a awesome experience with it. It is just, there's so much perceived value to it and it's just so unique that I wanna hang on to it. And on top of that, it is a huge money maker for me. I have 
huge margins with this car. So of course for revenue purposes, I wanna keep it, but now I'm thinking the time that it's down, I don't know if it's really worth the margins that I have on this car. Um, so I'm really trying to anticipate what I wanna do within these next six months because the warranty is um, starting to wear out. So I'm really curious for any of you guys out there that have Vanderhals, what has your experience been? I know that the newer um, Vander Halls have a different body style. They're on a different frame. So I don't know if those ones have less issues than the sort of older model that I have. I just don't know. These cars are too new to really um, have that sort of history behind them. So if any of you guys have these cars, whether it's just for ownership or you have them out for rent, let me know if you have these issues. And do you guys think I should pursue a lemon buyback on this guy? What do I do? Do I keep it? Do I hang on to it? Or do I try to get them to buy it back? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I need help trying to figure out what to do. All right, guys. So that is the update on my Fanner haul. It is finally back but oh one last note part of the reason why it took so long i shouldn't just fault it entirely on the shopper banner hall is because um, my car was unlisted in april because it started kind of making that loud knocking noise which i think is from loose engine mount bolts but i'm not sure um I couldn't get it into the shop till mid-May because the shop was closed because of the pandemic. So got it in mid-May and now it, today is June 21st, I believe, it's Father's Day. So it took over a month for me to get it back from the repairs, which is, I think, entirely too long for the repairs. So let me know what you guys think. I just wanna give you an update. The Banner Hall is back. I've had so many of my renters asking me where's the car and if I still have it up for rent. I'll hopefully have it listed within the next couple of days and I'll be back on the market. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. For all of you dads out there, have an amazing Father's Day. I'm getting ready to go see my dad and spend the day with them. Have a great rest of your Sunday and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.